Hello everybody, welcome back to Divide and Conquer. You might notice that we have no music playing right now. I may or may not find some copyright free music to lay under it later, but right now I just want the Lord of the Rings copyright music off of here. Yes, I am aware that there is a copyright free sound file that you can download, but I couldn't get it to work. So for now, we're stuck with this. Sorry. Not sorry. As you have no doubt seen in the title, we're going with the Ar Adunaim. No battle time limit, show CPU moves. Hey, let's go! Welcome to Divide and Conquer. If you want to read this, then play the game yourself. Yada yada yada. Your orders. Without question. Stopping Third here. Diplomat up north. My lord. Approaching quietly. Set our spy up north. Ships ready. Yes, sir. Yes, my lord. Loading the troops. Yes, my lord. Loading the troops into the transport. So, the Ar Adunaim. It's kind of expected that you'll go for Umbar, and I think the AI typically does. But you can go just about anywhere in Middle-earth. You wanna hop up here and attack Mithlond? Well, you can do that. It'll take you a while to get there, but you can do it. Of course, you could attack Gondor first. But what I'm thinking is something even more unorthodox. I'll show you. You'll see. You might already know, it's in the title. Okay, I, I can send a message to Dol Amroth. That's a thing that I can do. Of course, being a horde does make turns pass a lot faster. Without question, stopping here. My lord. Yes. Tomorrow's journey. My lord. Impossible, my lord. Approaching quietly. Come and get me, you coward. Nah. Yes, my lord. Weird. I'm pretty sure when you play as Gondor, you start at war with the Ar Adunaim, but we seem to have started neutral them. It's interesting and it's convenient in this case. Uh, right. We can't trade with them. Okay. Uh, how about we just give Acceptable, you a gifty? But only just until we meet again. There we go. Ships Thank fighting. you. A fine day to sail. Of course, you're already expanding. Don't mind if I do. Well, but, but I can't get that though because I don't have a capital. Approaching quiet. Set sail. Seriously. Okay. Yes. Making camp here. Approaching quiet. Ships ready. Yes, sir. Full sail. Your orders, my lord. Taking the troops ashore. Find it. Yes, my lord. Fun as that may sound. Well, I don't really think that we can facilitate the training of troops fast enough for this mission to give us one. Which is unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, 
Man, look at that. It's just Gothmog in there. With his admittedly terrifying bodyguard. Your orders, my lord. With honor, we shall continue tomorrow. Uh, not quite what I was trying my to lord. do, but okay. As you wish. <laughs> yeah. Yes, my lord. Glory, honor. <sighs> I see you have some friends. Yes, we are attacking Mordor. Indeed. Your orders, my lord. They'll probably have. Let's see, hang on. Well, I don't see one, but they'll probably have garrison units. To battle. Yep, that's another thousand orcs to deal with. Hopefully, we'll be fine. Master your courage, men! Ah, this brings back memories of playing as Rohan and not knowing how to do audio correctly. I don't think they have any towers, but I don't know that. They seem to all be waiting on the very inside, the back, ah, the very far, far inside, which is not entirely unwise of them. in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. The battering ram has done its work. They seem to have moved some troops out here to meet us, which is fine by me. We'll just form a shield wall, everybody else drops their rams, and we'll bring in the Abrazanim Nardu Baweeb. Bunch of weebs. Not gonna lie, I love the shields. Honestly, the whole faction is just absolutely gorgeous. The whole unit roster. We're opening this gambit with our elite archers. The one battalion we have of these really quite good troops. And these guys have no shields. The one thing they could really do would be to jump out there and attack us, but they don't seem to be doing that. They've spent all their ammunition now, and I don't want them in melee, so... Let's have them withdraw, and we'll get our first Rosadon unit in there.
bring in the next boys. Next unit. And let them have it. I'm cutting most of this out because most people would probably find it boring, but honestly, a battle where you don't really lose anybody and you don't have to do a bunch of micro is gonna be boring. Just saying, so far we've killed 11% of theirs without losing a man. If I can kill their whole army without engaging in melee, that's a good battle for me. Ooh. Oh my goodness. They're doing it. They're doing the thing. Get out of there. We wait for battle. You're gonna get some. This is gonna take a while. They seem to be bringing everything to us, so we're gonna have to bring everything to them. These Rosadon boys, they're pretty weak, but so far they haven't lost a guy against the Moranon guard. They're about to start losing some because Mordor is sending in their Morgul Chosen. Yeah, there we go. We just lost our first man. Uh, hmm, not sure I'm loving this, this projectile angle. But I guess it'll do. Okay, I take it back. I am loving this archery angle. It's fantastic. We're barely hitting our own guys at all, and we're absolutely shredding Mordor. Looks like everybody else is getting into position now. Losing basically this whole unit. They are they are our sacrificial lambs while our archers absolutely trash the rest of the army. Look, they're down by 40%. It says we've lost 19%, but that's mostly because we keep telling our archers who've spent their ammunition to run. Okay, we we are routing. Yeah, that unit is lost. But it's okay, because the rest of our boys are just about in position, and we have killed an absolutely inordinate number of Mordor's troops. Yeah, you guys have spent your ammunition, you can go. Oh, over here if they can find a place to stand. continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Uh, a question, why are you waiting for battle? You're, you're supposed to fire at will, and there's a will to fire at. Now, Eruthiel's Watch is a fantastic crossbow unit. A range of 180 meters 
Like that's good for archers, but with crossbows, that's that is way out there. I don't I don't know that that's not the best crossbow in the game. And on top of that, they have 12 attack with it and it's armor piercing. That's insane. Absolutely insane. Oh, now we can maneuver like that. Secure a more favorable position and shred. Rosadan footmen absolutely can hold a line in shield wall formation, and we don't have cavalry to be our hammer, but we don't need it. We've got Baruthiel's watch over here. Look, look at this. These guys are amazing. After we actually conquer Minas Morgul and make it our temporary capital. Actually, we may keep it as our capital, I don't know. But after we get it, things are gonna get real tough. My hope is that we'll be able to ally Gondor. Because we started neutral with them. And if we're enemies with their enemy, then maybe we'll be able to come to some arrangement. Okay, as good as that is, we need to use some of our armor-piercing ammunition on this unit of Mordor Chosen over here, because they have very good armor, at least for Mordor. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen in one volley. Twelve in the second one. Nine, still a very good volley. Ten. I believe this is Gothmog. If we kill him, then this out here may very well rout. Well, out of ammunition. None of our units have any more ammo. So let's go in melee. The really nice thing about general units is that they replenish. Got one of their generals. Yeah. Mog. But not Gothmog, just Mog. Gothmog minus the Goth. Baruthiel's watch is quite good in melee as well. exactly what this means. You don't really want to commit an infantry general to melee until you're sure you can win, or until it's the final push or what have you. But it's the final push now. It's time. If we can just kill Gothmog, these guys will probably all route on their own, but if they don't, then we can hit them with the Numenorian war cry. Grishnak! But I still want you to kill Gothmog. Lagrat. Okay, what about Gothmog? I believe I believe that's three down, one to go. He's getting out. He's pulling back. Notice that when the AI pulls an infantry general out of melee, the general goes with them. Whereas when you try to pull an infantry general out of melee, the general always gets stuck. 100% of the time. No exceptions. This battle is all but done. You have earned a respite, like the generals handled the last push. Very much in our favor. 
victory will be our men have slain the enemy general. That if his troops will lose their route of fire. Perfect. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. <laughs> there you go. This is a clear victory. Just like that. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that losing only 262 guys against an army of 2,400 when you're attacking a settlement is pretty darn good. In fact, let me get a... Let me get a screenshot, because that is a good one. We have triumphed! A most noble conquest! That's not a lot of money from sacking. But we don't want to sack it. It looks like we cannot get Minas Ithil Guardians, which is fine. It looks like we will be able to train our best units here at some point in the future, when we get 75% culture. What are we supposed to do? Just... Just send an emissary. Okay. What is it you wish to discuss? Can we get trade rights? Oh, generous. Ooh. Hmm. This seems quite reasonable. Oh, yeah. I am so happy about that. Holy crap! It's a, a great, great pleasure being oh, allied with you, Farewell. Steward Denethor. Thank you very much. We cannot be rewarded as we cannot recruit any units. That's okay. It's okay. Your orders, my lord. We shall prevail. Yes. Bada bing, bada boom. Theoretically, they shouldn't be able to get past at all now. Anyway, this session is going to melt my computer. It's taken long enough to record. I'm sure it will take plenty of time to edit. I had a lot of fun, we fought a very good battle. This was a fun session. Hope you'll join me next time for the next one.